Hi everybody. The end of the year is close, but before we get to the last plugins for this year and the improvements, I wanted to say thank you. You know, this Tukan Studios plugin stuff is a kind of a one-man show, yes, but I have a lot of help. So first of all, thank you to all who let me use their code. I started making plugins about a year ago and I had a lot of help with the code. So believe it or not, whenever I asked somebody, may I use your part of the code for this or that, uh, there was never a no. People were always very nice and said, yes, you might use my code and if you have questions, ask. So that was a lot of help. And thank you to those who helped me with the um, graphic files. So not everything you see in the plugins was made by me. There were graphic artists and um, well, they really told me if you want some graphics, just tell me what you need and I'll make it. And they made it and I'm very grateful for that. Well, and of course, thank you to the guests on my channel this year. Here. And as you do, you will see the exact frequency at stereo, dual mono, or mid side compression. Everything is yeah, I know this is overcooked, but we were able to get pretty loud with limiter three. Nice here, and it sounds chunky. Nosy. Or sounding like someone is holding their noise while speaking or singing. I think we all liked how you introduced the plugins, and I hope I can have some more guests next year. And thank you to all who mentioned uh, my plugins or showed my plugins on their YouTube channels. Tukan, 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 Tukan. Lexicon style drum plate and a heavily pre-delayed vocal plate with a much shorter kind of plate sound. And thank you for those who invited me to be guests on their channel. Uh, knob files and and things like that. Better understand mid-side processing. Hi Mike, you definitely don't know what you're talking about. Let me show you. It took me to say that. And of course, thank you to all of you leaving your comments below these um, videos with uh, saying thank you or with um, bug reports or if you had an idea uh, what plugin could be next or how plugins could be improved and things like that. I think that really helps us all. And this was not only about YouTube comments, there are also um, people on the Reaper forums who um, write their thoughts to me there. And some like to write emails or direct messages. And um, we had a lot of nice discussion uh, on the Discord server. So thank you to you all letting me be me, let me make my mistakes and fix them later. And thank you for having fun with my plugins. So now let's see some things about the improvements. And this time this is mainly about the filters. I noticed I had to take care of a Reaper feature that is um, kind of new. It's not the newest feature, but it's still new to me to take care of it. And this was about if you set a filter, let's say a high pass filter, and you chose to oversample a plugin with the um, Reaper built-in oversampling thing, then the calculated filters were all a bit off in their frequency because um, they were calculated with the old um, sample rate. So I went over all the Series 2 plugins and fixed the filters so you can oversample and they take the frequency that you dialed in before. Um, for example, the um, sidechain high pass filter in the blue compressor or the um, khaki delay has filters for the delay chain. Uh, we had the high pass filter here in the um, purple gate and expander. So these should now all keep the frequencies. And there was another thing I um, realized uh, with that oversampling thing and this is that if you detected a noise sample with the um, black denoiser and would then oversample um, the denoiser or having it oversampled, detected and say, well, I need single sample rate. You would compare a sample rate with another sample rate from the detector. And that of course would not give us the results that we want. So now when I detect a noise sample like this, now we have a detected noise sample, everything would be as it should be. And if I choose now, 
oversampling and press play once again, then we would have the um, problem of the sample rate mismatch from the detector to the um, sample to the audio that should be denoised. So we have two options. Um, we could change the sample rate back to the original sample rate we had before, or we use control click or command click on Mac to reset the noise sample, and then we would have to detect a new noise sample again, like this. And there are two new plugins for you today. And yes, I know you want to have the classics. So the LA1A is now ported to Series 2 and it's now called LA2Khan. And it looks like this. And of course it features all the um, Series 2 features we know uh, from the previous videos. And um, it is has an additional bypass because um, you can group bypass with the Series 2 plugins. And as for all the other controls, it's just like the LA1A. And of course, yes, it's scalable and it has um, Retina or um, high resolution display support. And there is the other classic that you all wanted to have. And this is the NC76 Series 2. It is a bit different from the um, original NC76 because I put the NC76 and the NC76B in one plugin, which you can now choose from the mode. You can choose for low level signals or for high level signals. And um, with this color code, you can see um, which you choose. And of course, you have not only the um, ratios that are given on these buttons. You have the special ratios, so you have the all-out mode, which is a 2 by one and you have the all-in mode, of course. By the way, um, this can be um, chosen with um, holding Alt on the keyboard and clicking the ratio buttons. And of course you have number input things, like in all these Series 2 plugins, um, you have Quick Link, for all the instances that are visible. Um, you have the grouping functions and so on. And while talking about grouping functions, you can group bypass, of course, the NC76s. And um, you have a sidechain key input. You have this trick thing where it works like a bit like a um, gate. And you still have the punch mode. And I made this a tiny little bit more punchy than before. So these are the new old plugins. And we have improvements. So. It's all found in the installation package series 2. If you already have it, just click synchronize. If you don't have it, install it. So as always, have fun with the plugins. Enjoy your party. Have a great new year. Cheers.